When voters head to the polls this November, they will send a message to Florida politicians. The problem with some of these constitutional amendments is it's all rainbows and unicorns. A pair of abortion rulings could have a major impact on the November election. One ruling makes a six-week abortion ban the law starting May 1st. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Two other rulings put the power over abortion and marijuana in the hands of voters. Both amendments will be on the ballot on November 5th. Amendment 4 makes abortion a constitutional right up to viability of the fetus. Amendment 3 would legalize recreational marijuana for everyone 21 and up without a doctor's prescription. Both would need at least 60% of the vote to pass. News 6's Treasure Roberts is here now. And Treasure, let's start with the reaction to the abortion rulings. Yeah, Matt Ginger, this big decision will give the power over abortion rights back to voters come November. But for now, restrictions on abortion in Florida just got tougher. Florida's High Court Monday cleared the abortion rights amendment, so you'll see it on the November ballot. Republican Attorney General Ashley Moody argued it was too vague and deceptive. The language reads, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. Viability is about 23 weeks of pregnancy. New Six political analyst Jim Clark says the court's ruling was surprising. I think a lot of people thought the Supreme Court, being as conservative as it was, would look for a way to kick it off the ballot. Florida House Speaker Paul Renner says Floridians need to vote it down. It is extreme in its focus. It would be one of the most extreme uh, laws in the, in the country as well as around the world should it pass. The past has shown that the legislature tries to come up with ways to stop things they don't like. And you think they'll do that again this time? They always have. Cheyenne Drews works with Progress Florida, one of the many organizations backing the Yes on 4 initiative. Drew says she's overjoyed about the decision, but adds it's not entirely a win. This is a complex day. Because on the same day that the Supreme Court did say that this will be on the ballot, they also released a decision on the pending 15-week abortion ban that essentially upholds it. And 30 days from now, a six-week abortion ban is going into effect. Where they say that this amendment is extreme, I'd say their policies are just that. Is there anything that you all think you can do to prepare for them to try to oppose this? Well, you know, they're nervous because they, they know that the policies that they've implemented are against the will of the majority of Floridians. This amendment would cancel out the six-week abortion ban if passed in November, but in order to do that, it needs 60% of the votes. Yeah, and 16% is a tall hill to climb. So obviously advocates are biased if you ask them these kind of questions, but do they think this amendment will actually pass in November? Yeah, so we just heard from Cheyenne Drews. She helped collect the petitions for this ballot initiative, and she says they got over one million signatures, which wow. is more than they even needed. So she says when people are inspired, they show up to vote. So she's more excited than anything, and she feels like a lot of people are going to come out this A fall. million signatures sounds like a lot of inspiration. A lot. For sure. All yeah. right. Treasure Roberts, thank you. thank you. Recreational marijuana will also be on the November ballot. Florida's attorney general claimed it covered more than one subject, which would be a violation of the rules. But justices say the issues in the amendment are directly related. If passed in November, marijuana could be sold to anyone 21 and over without a doctor's prescription. An individual would be allowed to carry up to 85 grams of pot. Passage would automatically allow existing medical marijuana centers to sell to all adults for personal use. You can read more about the amendments right now online at clickorlando.com.